so much backyard, I don't even know what I would do with all of it. Welcome to Mountain View Estates. Our latest listing just got CO and is completely finished and ready for its new owners. Come join us on a tour and let's go check out this beautiful home. What do you guys think about the two-tone black and white? And we've got the stone that ties in. We've got them at the top of each window. We've got them at the top of the RV garage. And then it's also around the front door. I think I've never, I just haven't seen this look before. It ties in super well. How do you feel about this landscaping? I love it. I think it, I mean, it matches the house. It looks really good. I just and want to take a moment to appreciate how this massive house Okay, it's a four bedroom home with a massive RV garage that sits on a very large lot, but yet it feels kind of tucked away and almost hidden from the street because of this tiered landscaping finished with this black rock that really accents the stucco. I think it plays well with that contrasty stucco and a modern look. Like you feel like a little bit kind of tucked away and then the backyard is your complete oasis with unobstructed views and we've got this rooftop deck. We'll have to show it all to you, it's awesome. But uh, zero landscaping has been coming, has been super popular lately. Like everyone is just over it with yard work and everything. No one wants to deal with any of it. So it's very popular right now. It looks beautiful. It's Don't low bring maintenance. a lot more to this house, at least not yet. Yeah. You can if you want. We've got this beautiful modern door, matches the home. Come on in. And this grand entryway with really tall ceilings. It's really nice and open. We'll go check out the main living area. One thing I really like about this home is there's just massive windows. I, I'm a huge fan of open, an open floor plan. I don't like choppy floor pan so it, where everyone can just all hang out you're cooking you're you know watching a movie you've got these huge windows that let in a lot of natural lights so you don't have to worry about having the lights on and just to take in these breathtaking views this video doesn't do justice just how beautiful it really doesn't and folks take a look and the the window all the way on the left there's a spiral staircase that takes you up to the observation deck we will show you what that looks like a little bit later in this video. I'm pretty excited. You, you even have views in a distance of Zion National Park, so it's, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out this kitchen. First of all, I don't know if you can even tell in the video how massive this center island is. Like, it is the perfect house for entertaining, for having lots of family and friends come over. Um, you can sit probably six bar stools right here. You've got under um, cabinet pantry, or cut that. Under cabinet storage. Cut that, okay, yeah, you've got storage under here. A lot of, a lot of storage all throughout. We've got this farmhouse, single sink, stainless steel LG appliances. We've got a five burner cooktop, and then the oven microwave wall combo, and then I am a huge fan. Come back in here in the pantry. Got a little, you know, you could put, plug all area. your appliances in here, have a coffee bar, and a pretty spacious pantry. Plenty of room for snacks. Plenty of room for snacks. Go to Costco, load it up. I'm a huge fan of like being able to store as much as possible so I don't have to go to the grocery store. And Costco snacks. Costco snacks. And take a look at the detail of this backsplash. I haven't seen this in any other home. And a lot of times <clears throat> people will put backsplashes that are just too distracting and they're too busy and have too much going on. And I just feel like this is really nice and subtle and it ties in with the countertops and the naughty alder cabinets really well. I feel so too. Yeah, it's very non-distracting. Yeah. It just It's nice to have it there, but it doesn't become the main focal point of this room. And then we've got the fireplace, the electric fireplace here. Of course, you've got all your colors. You can have some fun with that. And that, that mantle above the fireplace 
matches the cabinets in this home perfectly, kind yeah. of tying everything in. Okay, come with us and let's go check out the master bedroom. Again, with the big windows, lots of natural light. This room is super lit up. We've got the tray ceilings in here. It's a very spacious room and you get to wake up to these beautiful views of the mountains, unobstructed views. Zion oh, it backs Park. to Zion National Park. It's gorgeous. You're about 30 minutes to Zion National Park from here. You're about, probably about 10 minutes to Sand Hollow State Park. So for golfing, the lake, the sand dunes, you can hop in your side-by-side -side or mountain bike or dirt bike and, go, and literally take off onto trails anywhere from this house. It's unlimited amount of fun can be had. For sure. And this master bathroom is quite spacious. We've got the double sink vanity with these awesome, I've, these are gorgeous. They look perfect with these cabinetry in here. And then we've got a large soaking tub and check out the, the tile in here. The pebble stone rock tile. I'm a huge fan of variations of panty tile and just smaller tile in general. It feels so good on your feet. And the dual shower head. And it like seals nicely. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. Okay. This is my favorite part of this primary bath. It's got the water closet here. And there's just no shortage of storage and cabinetry in this entire home. The builder went all out to make sure that you've got plenty of cabinetry and storage. You could put, you could put your shoes in here. I don't know what you, there's just cabinetry Rinans, everywhere. Rinans, shoes. Yep, so we go right from the bathroom into the owner's closet and right into the laundry room. Very convenient. We've got a folding table right here, cabinetry above, below. And the, it looks like the dryer could be either electric or gas. You do have natural gas here in this part of Hurricane. Okay, and then we've got a bedroom here, a bedroom here, and a bedroom or office here. Let's start in this direction. So we've got this bedroom. They all have walk-in closets, all very good size. And, and then there is a walk-in closet behind this door. All of your guest suites are kind of separated by the laundry from the owner suites. So yeah. You... So if you've got the laundry and the bathroom and the closet separating you, so they're on, you know, different sides of the home. These rooms will all have access to this hallway bathroom. Um, so yes, this, this home is four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. There is a half bath right off the family room and in kitchen for guests to use. And then more large windows, lots of natural light in here. And there is, um, the closets are pretty generous in size. Okay, and then let's go ahead and check out this door. And then bedroom number four, or I think it would make a perfect room for an office or den. You've got the French doors. Um, you can always trade these out for glass if you want. And you've got access to this front patio out this glass sliding door. And this room, how tall would you say these ceilings are in here? I think they're 12 foot ceilings. Yeah, they match. 12 or 14. They match the height of the entryway. And there's a lot of natural light coming in here. We've got a closet in here, so Nobody yeah. Nobody cares about that closet. Let's go look at the garage. Okay, let's go look at the garage. <laughs> Well, there's just, there's just room to put all of your storage, if needed. I didn't mean to cut you off, but when you show somebody a video of a home with a massive RV garage. Well, I want you to know that every room has a closet, in case important. you're wondering. I agree, I'm sorry. Okay, half bath right here. This is perfect so that your guests aren't running into your personal bathrooms, but powder bath right here. Okay, and then let's go check out probably one of the most exciting parts. Where's the light? So, I mean, that's the door that you're gonna be using the most to access your home. You've got your two car bay right here. These garages are very well insulated. We were... Yeah, this builder is one of the few builders that actually insulates the garage, which makes a huge difference, you know? It, uh, 
it really makes this space a lot more usable, especially if you wanted to install um, an HVAC unit here later and have this place either heated or cooled. And now probably everyone's favorite is check out this massive RV garage. What in the world would you do with all this space? And the nice thing is even if you don't have an RV, which I would say, what do you think? Like 5% of people that buy a home with an RV oh, I would say actually like, have an RV? I'd be willing to go as far as nine out of 10 of our clients that buy homes with RV garages do not actually have an RV. But you've got, you know, you can put your toys in here. You can put your seasonal decorations in here somewhere. You can put you dirt gym. bikes. You your a private gym. Have, yeah, you can have your own gym in here. Like your voice echoes a little bit in here. It's just because it's so massive. It's and, huge. And there's, you know, there's two huge windows in the two car. There's four of these large windows that I wouldn't even put blinds on because you just- Lots of just, natural light. So if you're detailing your vehicles, polishing your classic car, it's nice to have a little bit of that natural light so you could actually see what you're looking at and how well this beauty will shine. Okay, let's, we actually have not even been to the rooftop deck because the stairs weren't put in. So come with us for the first time to go actually check out this rooftop deck and take in the views that we haven't even experienced yet. Super excited about this. And check out the size of this lot. Actually, let's check it out from up here to really appreciate how Let's huge climb it up is. to the top so you can see your entire kingdom yeah. everything that the sun touches exactly or anything that's within the boundaries of this parcel which we could <laughs> give you guys a pretty good idea this railing turned out really nice this is like nice to walk on it is super nice to walk on wow what would you do with this space? I would personally put up some patio furniture. Uh-huh. Maybe a small fire table. And just look at this. Come come look over the edge too to to see like that's so much backyard. I don't even know what I would do with all of it. You could do a pool, pickleball court. And how, still have room for some grass. How big is the drop off on the other side of that wall? You so can't just on the other side of that wall, it drops by another 20 feet. So you have incredible rear privacy. Um, there's really no way that you would have a neighbor behind you that would be able to look into this backyard. It's all retained and there's like a sloped mountain behind it, but. They're nice and elevated. Folks, we are um, offering a <clears throat> Excuse me. Folks, we are offering a promo during the Parade of Homes. This video is being posted on the first day of the parade. And essentially, if you were to purchase this home right now, you would still need two return walls, the block wall. And if you were to purchase this home during the parade, it would be on the builder. The builder would cover your return wall. So if you're considering Putting an offer right now would be a great time because you can save some money on that block wall. You can see a little bit of Pine Valley Mountains into the north right there. How cool is that? I'm just excited. This is our first time coming up here. I just, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, check out the views from right here. It's a very, very private backyard. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this home. If you have any interest, please reach out to us for further details. And of course, if you wanna make this your dream home, give us a call, shoot us a text. We'd absolutely love to be of service to you.